Good morning, everyone. Scott Earhart here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to join us today. We've got a great presentation for you. Uh, before we get into the presentation, I'm going to hit a few housekeeping items and some introductory slides, and then we will get uh, one of our national sales coaches and one of our top producers, Mr. Dave Pimper, with us to go through uh, Social Security claiming and maximization. He'll, he will absolute Dave's an absolute guru when it comes to Social Security and an absolute guru when it comes to marketing and prospecting uh, with it. So you all are in for quite the treat today. Dave does a great job with this, really helps him grow his business and can certainly help you grow yours if it's something you're interested in. With that, let me get into a few housekeeping items here. First and foremost, um, Probably the most important thing you'll hear me say today, top right-hand corner of your screen there, 800-255-5055. That's our phone number. If there's anything we can do here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services to assist you, we'd certainly love the opportunity to be chatting with you. Don't hesitate to give us a call. Second housekeeping item are polling questions. Uh, throughout the presentation today, I will launch, let me see here, uh, looks like I will launch two polling questions. Uh, so please, if you would take the time to click yes or no on those, we certainly appreciate everyone's participation there. And then final housekeeping item are questions. Dave is going to jump on here and he is going to throw a lot of information at you in a relatively short period of time. So I'm sure there are going to be a few questions. Uh, feel free to type those into the questions box. We will do the best we can to get those answered while we are live and in session here. And if we don't get them answered in session, certainly when we follow up, we will get those answered for you. Jumping into a few uh, introductory slides here, new producer builders. This slide is geared towards individuals who are new to us here at IMES or uh, individuals, um, to, to individuals that this is your first introduction to us here at IMES. Uh, this is all based on your production within the first 180 days of being licensed with us. As you can see, there's great levels or there's several levels that you can cash in at and inside each level, um, there are amazing options for you to choose from. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, the new producer bonus, give your sales director here at IMES a call. Certainly they can walk you through that. Going into some business builders, I love this slide because all this slide is, is talking about how we can put some extra dollars in your pocket and help you grow your business. We'll start with the referred producer program on top there. Our business here on the wholesale side of the industry, very similar to yours in the field, in that one of the best leads we can ever obtain is a referral from one of our valued clients or you, our valued producer. So we wanna make it worth your while to refer in other producers to us. And we're gonna do that by sending you a $50 thank you check when your referred producer picks up any licensing through IMES. And where the real money comes in is as your referred producer writes business, you will receive an override on that business. You can see those percentages there. We do cut these checks at least quarterly. And I know our ownership group signs checks in the thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, so it can be very, very lucrative for you. If you can think of anyone that could benefit from doing business with us here at IMES, please feel free to uh, type their information into the questions box. Feel free to email me uh, who they are, scott at imesinc.com. Or when we call to follow up, just let us know who they are. We will do the best we can to get them recruited over to IMES and hopefully get you on your way to earning some referred producer dollars. Now below that is our most popular program. That is our marketing reimbursement program. Uh, you can see the breakdown there for every 100,000 in FIA premium you place with IMES, we put $100 into your marketing reimbursement account. What makes this program so popular is we really do consider that to be your marketing money. Uh, what I mean by that is we're not gonna cap your account. We're not gonna make you cash that account out. Uh, at any certain time, and we put very, very few restrictions on vendors that can be utilized. What I mean by that is if you've got a firm that's doing work for you, uh, that you enjoy working with, you've seen good results, we want to encourage you to continue that relationship. Uh, basically, what we'd ask is send us a receipt or an invoice. We'll get you out a check to help you offset that cost. Of course, you can certainly use the IMS Creative Services uh, here as well, we'll get into that in a little bit, but definitely 
want you to take advantage of marketing reimbursement. If you have any questions on marketing reimbursement, what your account value is, how it works, just give your sales director a call here. They can certainly walk you through that. This slide is the heart of who we are here at IMS and how and the principles we were founded on some 36 years ago. And that's basically helping the independent producer work smarter and not harder. We're going to do that with great tools and resources. Uh, you're going to see uh, some of those great tools or some of those great resources are like today's webinar. Of course, we're going to be here for case design assistance and illustrations. And we're going to put a 24-hour guarantee on those illustrations. Uh, you, you make a request for an illustration or a case design, we're gonna have that to you within 24 hours of that request. Normally it's gonna be significantly quicker than that, uh, but we give ourselves a little buffer with that guarantee. Submission to commission support, we are here and we have a team here that scrubs apps, submits the apps on your behalf, does all the back office tracking of those applications to help you get commissioned and get that policy issued uh, as quickly as, po as possible. Uh, they, our team does a great job and there's no cost to you on that. That's just part of the value proposition of doing business with IMES. We're here to help you get paid and get your clients policies in their hands as quickly as possible. Top sales expertise and coaching. Uh, you're going to see see it firsthand here. We've got some great sales coaches throughout the, uh, throughout the country. One of them is Dave Pimper, and you're going to learn a little bit about what they can do to help you grow your business with uh, marketing, with sales coaching, things of that nature. Uh, and then paperless contracting. We are on the Surance Bay platform, so I don't want to date myself here, but if anybody has been in the business as long as I have or is as old as I am, uh, we all remember the hand cramps that we used to get filling out licensing forms. That's done. We're going to have you fill out licensing one time, and then 90% of our carriers are on that platform. We can certainly get you uh, get carriers added on that you need in a very efficient fashion. If you have any questions on any of these bullet points, let us know. We'd love to chat with you about them. Firelight, eApp. Um, if you have not um, utilized Firelight or any eApp system in the past, I'd highly encourage you to try it. It's really gonna help your NIGO percentages go way, way down. Uh, it helps the business get issued faster. You can access Firelight via our website, imsinc.com. If you have any questions about Firelight, let us know. Uh, everybody here in our office is really, really familiar with it, and we'd love to see you give Firelight a try. I did mention our creative marketing team a bit earlier in the presentation. We do have full, uh, full creative team here in-house, uh, and we can help you with all sorts of different uh, different projects to help you market your business. We've got great turnkey solutions. They are uh, things that we've developed that are stock that we can customize to you uh, that that are just ready to go. They're right there on the shelf. Uh, agency solutions, the branding. Uh, one thing I'd say is if you haven't created a consistent and customized brand for yourself or your uh, or your business, I think you should do so. It really helps you with name recognition, helps you in your natural market. We've got a great team that can build really unique, uh, really unique logos, really unique um, branding for you. Um, certainly, we'd love to do that for you. And then digital solutions. This is what everybody's looking at right now. How can I, uh, how can I market myself, market my, my brand, my agency, my business? Um, digitally and, and be as effective as possible. We've got some great solutions there. We can help you with websites. We can help you with strategies, email consulting, and then social media marketing as well. Got a lot of expertise there. Certainly, uh, our creative team is here to help you. The way you access our creative team is by working with your sales director. Um, we've got some forms uh, so that we can help guide that team on what it is you're looking for and get that marketing built for you. Uh, as efficiently as possible. So if you'd like to learn more about the IMS creative process, just give your sales director a call uh, here at the office. They can certainly get you started on that. Our website, I've mentioned our website a few times uh, here today, uh, www.imesinc.com. If you haven't gone out and created a profile out there, I'd encourage you to do so. Uh, directly after this presentation. We put a lot of great stuff out there. Uh, Marketing Corner is out there. 
uh, obviously recorded webinars are out there for you sales tools uh, quote engines uh, annuity rate watch product grids all sorts of amazing things firelight which we mentioned earlier can is accessed through our website so a lot of great things for you to utilize there i'd highly encourage you to register or create a profile at imzinc.com directly after this presentation if you haven't done so retirement analyzer this is one of my favorite slides that i talk about and uh, i like this slide because it, the retirement analyzer works we've worked with ra oh i've been at the firm 11 years and we've worked with them all all the years i've been here they do just just an amazing job and it's such a great tool for you and for your clientele with all the regulatory scuttle that's out there right now best interest and impossible department of labor things like that basically what it all boils down to for me is third grade long division uh, you know, you need to be able to show your work and why you make the recommendations you make. The retirement analyzer will do that for you. Uh, now, part of why I really like the retirement analyzer is because I consider it to be a closing tool as well. With very, very simple charts, graphs, and plain language, you can show the client exact or the prospect exactly how much better off their position will be if they choose to implement the product recommendation or the strategy that you're recommending as compared to where they are now. So it's a great, great tool. And I'd highly encourage you to kick the tires of it if you haven't already. Marcus Solar in our office is our point man uh, for Retirement Analyzer. So if you'd like more information on the RA, just give Marcus a call here at the office. Certainly he can walk you through it. IMS Wealth Management, love this slide as well. As I talk about IMS Wealth Management, I'm going to launch our first poll of the day. And what I'm gonna ask you is if you'd like to learn more about IMS Wealth, our RIA. Uh, if you click yes, you're gonna get an automated email with some information. And then uh, Duncan Smith will give you a follow-up call uh, from the RIA side. We founded IMS Wealth five years ago now. And it's just been an amazing journey for us. They, they've seen exponential growth and we founded it. And the reason why it's growing is because it, it is a mirror of, or their, I shouldn't say it's a mirror. Their philosophy is that of IMS, the IMO. It is an advisor centric RIA. What I mean by that is it is everybody on the staff there. You're going to have live people answer the phone. Uh, you're going to get the forms you need. You're going to get the answers you need in that single phone call. It's not voicemail. It's not, you know, things, phone trees, things of that nature. Uh, also, you know, they do really have the advisor in mind. So the interface that they have uh, is going to be very, very easy for both the advisor and the client to access. The technology that they're utilizing is amazing. Um, and then the fee structure is very, very competitive. So here's what I'd say. If you have ever considered adding assets under management into your practice, click yes, have a conversation with Duncan. We've got some great, uh, great training partners to help you pass that Series 65 exam. If you already are active as an IAR, uh, I'd tell you to click yes as well. Uh, have the conversation with Duncan. I think you will find our fee structure and technology proposition very, very competitive against the industries. And it's probably very worthwhile for you to at least take a look at IMS Wealth. I'm going to close down this poll here. If you haven't taken the time to click yes or no, if you would do so, I'd certainly appreciate it. Okay, thank you everybody, appreciate that. All right, moving on, fun slide. Uh, the Top Producer Summit, really excited about this. Uh, we are currently qualifying for our IMS Top Producer Summit. We are going on a Mediterranean cruise next August. Uh, really excited about this. Probably the largest trip that we've ever done. Uh, I can see some names of people on here on the uh, on the call. They'll, they could tell you if I opened up the microphones, they'd, they'd tell you that uh, the ownership group here at IMS spares no expense on these uh, on these excursions. You will have you and your guest will have just an absolutely amazing time. We're going to have uh, great interaction there. Uh, obviously, we'll have great educational proposition there, and then we're going to do it in a location that is uh, second to none. So it'll be it'll be just an amazing amazing experience. Uh, we are qualifying through the end of. Uh, June of 2022, 4.5 million trip credits 
uh, will get you on that. So there is still plenty of time to qualify. Uh, if you have any questions about where you stand or any questions about what we could do or what we can do to help you get qualified, just let us know. We'd love to see you there. Definitely want to have as many people as possible with us on that cruise. Nope. Oh. And looks like we are onto this slide. I thought I had one more slide in there. Apparently I don't. Okay, so we'll talk about it before I talk about this. We are also currently qualifying for our uh, Athene co-sponsored trip, the Escape to Paradise. We're going to Hilton Head. Um, and that qualification runs through the end of the year. Uh, current, currently, well, I won't say currently, total production to qualify for that is $2 million of Athene premium. But through the end of November, we are running double trip credits on that. So any business, any Athene business that you submit between now and the end of November will count two times towards the Hilton Head trip, one time toward the top producers escape. So basically a million dollars in Athene premium will get you and your guest a trip to Hilton Head, which is a very, very exciting uh, thing for us to be able to offer. Athene's got great product right now. Um, definitely, definitely one of the industry leaders there. Uh, so I would highly encourage all of you uh, to take a look at Athene. And if you have questions about the Escape to Paradise um, trip, let us know. We'd love to get you and your guest to Hilton Head with us. Okay, now on to the slide that you're currently looking at. Uh, we like and follow us. We put a lot of great information out on social media, uh, and it's a really, really easy access point for you to get information from us. So throw us a like, throw us a follow on the social media platforms. I think you'll, I think you'll like the information you see from IMES. And with that, I think we've got some amazing timing here, Dave. Did you jump in with us, Mr. Pimper? Well, I know he's logging in right now, so give us just a second. As soon as Dave pops in, we'll hand control over to him, um, and he's going to go through Social Security maximization with you. Just a little background on Dave. Oh, Dave, you went green on me. Can you hear us, boss? Hi, Ken. How are you doing? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Good to hear your voice. How's the world treating you? Hunky-dory. I like to hear that. <laughs> I like to hear that. It's a good, good Friday attitude, Dave. Yeah, Ladies thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Pimper. Uh, he is one of our national sales coaches, one of our top uh, top producers, has been with IMS a very, very long time, does a great job with Social Security, but beyond that is probably one of the foremost ex experts in the industry on seminar marketing and marketing in general. So uh, really happy to have Dave with us. Dave, I'm going to give you control and I'm going to let you let you take off and run, boss. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for those kind words. So, Scott, this will be about a half an hour presentation, and so it's not going to be a long time. I appreciate everybody being on the line. we got quite a few folks with us this morning. On a Friday afternoon, things are starting to cool off. We're in Nebraska. Don't know about your neck of the woods, but certainly um, uh, summer has gone and, and, and fall is here. Uh, leaves are turning, and, and uh, it's just a beautiful time of the year. Um, one of the things, going through the pandemic, there are a lot of advisors and agents, producers, that have really not marketed like they did pre-pandemic. And, and I will tell you, some, I know there was, a, you know, Nebraska was not a big lockdown state. We were more fortunate here. But there are places, especially on the, the, the two coasts, where there was a lot more lockdown. And things are opening up now, even like with the variant that kind of came back and raised in a second ugly head, you know, the, 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 the amount of cases are way down, deaths are way down compared to what they were a couple, three and four or five months ago. So things are opening on up with caution, but, but marketing get, you know, that is the name of the game in our business. Some kind is, it, this is a contact sport. And I'll tell you right now, if you're not talking face to face or on the phone, phone or by zoom with, with, clients and new or new and or new prospects then your production is going to suffer it's just the law of the land um, I've been in this business for 40 years since 1981 and and um, I, I've always been a good producer because I've been consistent on my marketing consistent on my advertising 
Interesting enough, most advisors don't know much about Social Security. And and the reason that is, and not just not just the big boys like Morgan, Stan, uh, Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, UBS, uh, Edward Jones, but but the independent. I'm an independent. Um, I've been independent for years and years. Um, if you're uh, if you're an, uh, an agent, it doesn't make a difference if it's Northwestern Mutual independent agent or a CPA lawyer banker. So few ad, uh, people in our financial industry really understand Social Security. And I, I don't know this for a fact, and I don't see it written, but I really do believe, like for us, a producer, we make money by selling, selling a financial product, whether it be a fixed index annuity, whether it be life insurance, whether it be stocks, bonds, mutual funds, variable annuities, we make money from selling. Selling's not a dirty word. Professional selling, every, you know, we're, we're, if you're good at what you do, you have that client's best interest and we get compensated for showing that financial product, sell that financial product to that client. What happens is when you sell Social Security, how much do you make? None. You don't make a thing from Social Security. And I think that's why a lot of people, and it's complicated, 2,700 rules. So what I want to do today, and this is a pretty quick um, webinar. I'm going to give you a little bit about kind of the feel of the industry of Social Security, a little bit about Social Security itself. I'm a believer that if you truly do understand the individual benefit, the spousal benefit, survivor divorce and restricted application, which is a coordinating a spousal benefit that's still around for some folks, those five things, if you get those down pat, that's probably 80, 85, 90% of all of the questions that that you'll you'll get you can answer and we're going to touch base on those today if you have a question just uh, uh type them on in and i'll be more than answer those for you okay so here we go if i can there we are this comes with sarah o'brien word for word right from her article from um cnbc most retirees get little advice or help on social security and listen to this now closely a majority of older Americans get no professional advice about a key part of retirement planning, Social Security. Why? Even if they work with a financial advisor, a recent study concluded, why is that? I truly believe because there there is no money made per se from knowing Social Security because you can't charge unless you charge a fee. If you're a fiduciary, you can charge a fee, but, but I don't. I'll tell you. With the Social Security Administration, that, that's who most people go to to get advice. They, you know what? They can't give advice. We give advice. They can't. They can give your highest benefit right now. They can't, they can't, they can't coordinate, uh, give uh, complicated uh, strategies. We can. And so what happens is the reason they can't give advice is because they, from a liability standpoint, the Social Security Administration employees, they're not going to ask, you know, what is your health like? What kind of drugs are you on? What is your life expectancy of your family? What kind of assets do you have? What kind of income sources do you have? They, they can't ask any of that. They're just giving you your highest benefit right now. We can help them with that. And when you're uncovering all those things, yeah. I mean, I just had a, I had a, a social security workshop um, about three weeks ago or maybe about three weeks ago and I, I had 11 appointments i was very happy with that cost me 2500 bucks that price may go up i mean that's our workshop it may go up here but right now it's still 2500 dollars, and you're guaranteed 35 signups 35 people who sign up that register okay i got 11 appointments i've had five appointments um one uh very nice lady but just you know i helped her with social security she didn't have any she did take a couple cards though and said she's going to give it to friends i said that's great but the other four i found money is going to a second appointment will i get all of those no will i blank on all of those no i will get somewhere between one and three of those folks i'll do business and i still have six appointments left okay lined up so what happens is there is big money in knowing social security claiming 
And if you're working with the pre-retired and just retired crowd and don't know Social Security, how can you call yourself a retirement planner? Because Social Security makes up more than half of the people say Social Security is the largest source of retirement income. So we're going to take a quiz, boys and girls. We're going to take a quiz. We're going back to school. Five questions. So get a piece of paper and a pencil out because we're going to do this. Here we go. This is from Simply Wise. It's an online financial service um, kind of uh, data gatherer. And it says, this is word for word again, a social security test only one in 300 seniors could pass. And then I wrote in here, how about you, the financial advisor or agent? I passed it. Let's see if you can. Here we go. Question number one, to maximize your monthly security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? To maximize your monthly social security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? What's the answer there? Write it down. Here we go. Five seconds, and we're gonna, gonna tell you what the answer is. How do you maximize at what age? Well, if you wrote down full retirement age, 66 or 67, you're wrong. It's 70. You maximize it. Now, that's for a single person. It might be a little different when you figure out what your age and so forth is, but that's how you maximize it. Second question, what's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? What's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? Know the answer? Write it down. Here we go. 60. You know what? Only 9% of all the people knew that. Third question. Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Yes or no? Yeah, they do. Okay. Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? It's a quiz. Do it with me. Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Yeah, they can. If four stipulations are met, if you guess two of the four, I'm going to give you credit for it. Write down two of the four stipulations that have to be met for divorced spouses to receive a spousal benefit. Write them down. Here we go. What are the four stipulations? Here's what they are. First of all, your marriage had to last 10 years or longer continuously. You are currently unmarried. Your ex can be married. You are currently unmarried. Your ex has to be at least 62, and the divorce has to be two years ago or longer. Those are the four that have to line up to get it, but if you got two of those, I'm going to give you this question right. And here's the last question. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if, you, if you're divorced? Yay or nay? Here we go. You are if those four stipulations are met. And I'm not going to quiz you on that because we just went through them. Remember what they are? Marriage lasted 10 years or longer. You are currently unmarried. X is at least 62. Divorce was two years or longer ago. How'd you do on that? If you got them all right, good for you. I mean, really, you know a lot unless you guessed on them. But if you knew the answers, yeah, good for you. That's that's you're probably the one out of ten percent of the people that really understand that. If you got uh, one, two, or three right, you need help for that's still pretty darn good also. But most people won't. It's just a tough business. And that's why we we coach it. Now I will say this: with IMS, the FMO, and that's who I coach through, and I'm proprietary with them. I I don't coach for anybody else. I do get chances from time to time, but they're, they're they're a good firm. They understand how their bread is buttered. That's by production from the from the rep. 
but but I will say there's three ways. It, it, I think the the two most the, the most I think the best ways are if you know social security but you're not getting in front of anybody, you still make zero. So you might as well learn social security and get in front of some people that you can practice on. Hopefully get some business from and write some production. So social security seminars, you know, I I do them almost every month. Uh, you know, I'm doing them. You know, I, I I did one in May. I did take off because I do I do golf and some traveling in the summer. A uh, June, July, August. I did one in. Uh, then I did one in September. I'm doing one in October. I'm doing one in November. And then I kind of debate whether I do one in the first week of December, but we are. We're doing one in early December. But, you know, why do I do them? Because they're successful. Why do I do them? Because I'm getting in front of people. Yeah. Because I'm writing business. That's $2,500 guaranteed, 35 registrants. Libraries are opening up, community centers, um, um, conference rooms. Yeah. And we handle all of that for you right here. With that, we teach you Social Security, three coaching sessions, all of the attachments. Uh, you order a great book called, I think it's the Bible of Social Security uh, for 20 bucks. I mean, there's, there's some work on your part to learn it, but but I coach you through that, and you can use me anytime that you want to. Second way is Retirement Boss Radio. Um, last week, uh, we got, uh, week before we got four appointments. This week, we got three appointments. The goal is to get anywhere between 10 and 15 appointments every single month. Uh, cost depending on your area, and if it's available, because it, we also have quite a few folks that are that are um, uh, enjoying Retirement Boss Radio. But I'll say this right now: is that you know, for that 3,000 or 3,500 bucks, with or 4,000 that you pay, being an hour on the radio show, being an hour, you know, every single week, I will tell you right now, it's a big deal. And so we do coach you up there. There's no cost to the Social Security. About 30% or 30 to 35% of all the leads coming in from radio and, and, and the, the appointments that are set, they are done because people have questions on Social Security. And we coach you up. And I say I. I coach you up. IMS pays me. They stipend me to coach you. That's how I get paid. It doesn't come out of your pocket. Or you can just a la carte it. You don't need to get in front of people. You've got enough business. Or just don't want to do marketing. Or that kind of marketing. Yeah, for $800, you can learn the business. I teach it to you. And, and then you're, you know, you're open you know, to, to, to call me virtually at any time that you want to. So, so those are the three ways. This comes from Jana Heron from USA Today. Doing this one thing with your Social Security can mean Losing a hundred grand in retirement. A hundred grand in retirement. Look at bullet point one. How much does Social Security Security claiming at the wrong time cost you? Bullet point two. Retirees will lose an average of one hundred eleven thousand in income per household. That's a lot of money. One hundred eleven grand over the household, the lifetime, because they took Social Security benefits at the wrong time, and then overall, only four percent of retirees took Social Security at the financially optimal age. That means ninety six percent didn't. Bizarre. Yeah, you know, it started in 1935. First date you could take was 65. They started getting, you, know, you could take earlier at a reduced rate in 1961 under FD, uh, under um, uh, uh, President Kennedy. Cost of living started in 75 on an annual basis. First inflation in 83. Yeah. Last change was the Bipartisan Budget Act of 215. Social Security has been a great program. I can't say that about, for about a lot of government programs. How important is Social Security? I said this, 59% of retirees count their Social Security as their major source of income. Over pensions, 401ks, yeah. Three important ages. Full retirement age, depending on your age, 66 to 67. If you take the, it's discounted. If you take later, it's increased. That's Social Security 101. It can have a huge value. I always say claiming at your right time is a big value. Not claiming at the right time or a right time, but claiming at your right time. There's 2.9 trillion in the trust fund, and um, it did run a, a, a surplus last year, which is pretty amazing. Will it run out of money? Yeah. Well, in about 2034. But you know what? Um, 
there's going to be changes before that. And even if it ran out, you have payroll taxes of the 6.2% paid by you and the employer that pays about 75 or 80 percent of it. They're going to firm it up by either doing or both more taxation or ages, maybe extending the ages out a little bit. It's a pay-as-you-go system. It's not a Ponzi scheme. And government bonds. Uh, special issue treasury bonds are purchased, but they're borrowed on right away by the government. They cash those in and give IOUs. But IOU, same thing that backs our currency. It's the same thing that backs um, Social Security, of the full faith and credit of the United States government. You need 40 quarterly credits or 40 quarters of coverage, they're called now. That's 10 years of work. You can get one quarter each, you know, three months. So four a year is the most you can get. The more you make, the bigger your benefit is. The less you make, it's the smaller. They take your 35 highest years, and those are inflation adjusted. They've got, it's called AIME, A-I-M-E, and they kind of throw it all in the pot, mix it around to figure out what your benefit is. So if you're born from 43 to 54, your full retirement benefit is 66. There's up two months each year to 1960 or later, where your full retirement age is 67. Now, if if this is Greek to you, I mean, knowing Social Security, yeah, it takes a little bit of time in the beginning, but what a benefit is knowing Social Security when it comes to production. It's incredible. If you, if you take early, you're going to be like 62. That's the earliest you can take. Yeah, it's going to be discounted anywhere between 25 and 30 percent and then less as it gets up to full retirement age if you wait later yeah it's guaranteed to grow eight percent a year think about this if you got a three thousand dollar benefit that'd be a high benefit because like 31 64 was the highest the benefit could have been but say it's a three thousand dollar benefit and a person waits from full retirement age of 66 and waits from 66 to 67 he's growing to he's guaranteed to grow eight percent and then cost of living this year just came out highest in 39 years 5.9%. So that's 13.9% it will grow. Take 3,000 times 13.9%, and you know what? It grows $417 in one year. Wow. Social Security is something. And for if, if, you're, if you're in the accumulation stage, and that's who mainly you work with, it's not as important. But if once a person gets 55 and over, Everyone's got questions on Social Security. Okay, now let's go in and take a look at the spousal benefit. And there's always going to go in, there's always going to go and be um, questions uh, and hurdles, little U turns. But what happens is, let's say that this is the basics day's primary insurance amount, that's the amount at full retirement age is 2400 Amy's PIA is 1000 Dave takes hers, and Amy takes hers. Dave gets the 2400 He has no option, the higher one. The lower one can either take all of their full op individual benefit or half of the spouse's. So what would that be in this scenario? Amy can take a grand or half of Dave's, 1200 Which one is, he, is she going to do? Yeah, she's going to take the 1200 no doubt. No doubt. How about divorce spouse? <clears throat> Remember those four those four um, um, stipulations that must be met? Marriage lasted 10 years. You're currently unmarried. Your ex is 62. Divorce was two years ago or longer. Those four things add up. Then you can, if, you, if those four things, those moons and stars add up, what happens is, is that you can use your spouse as if you're still married to them. Why is that important? Because with spousal benefits, there's, there's usually spouses get more options than a single person, which could benefit you financially. Survivor, my wife always says, uh, you never get out of here alive, do you? <laughs> you don't. Physically, you die. Maybe not spiritually, but physically, you die. Dave's benefits two grand. Amy's benefits twelve thousand. Who normally dies first? Seventy-five percent of the time, the guy does. In this hypothetical, the guy dies first, two grand. He gets this two, so he's getting two grand and he dies. 
What Amy can now do is she can either keep her 1200 or she can drop her 1200 and take her husband's benefit. It's gender neutral. Could be with Amy getting 2000 but here's Dave. She drops hers, jumps up to Dave's. What's interesting is if you don't ask for it, you don't get it. Spousal benefit is done automatically, but not a survivor benefit. You got to ask for it. Otherwise, they just keep paying you 1200 and then you lose that money. Coordinating spousal benefits. This is interesting, called restricted application. File and suspend was done away with uh, five, six years ago with the 215 Bipartisan Budget Act. But here, if you're born before January the 2nd in 1954, before January the 2nd of 1954, what happens is, is that you can restrict your application if you're married. Okay, and here's how it works. Let's say, and this is a hypothetical again, the, the person taking it does have to be full retirement age or older. But Dave's benefit is 2,466. Amy's benefit is 1,000. Amy takes hers, which they must do under this scenario. Dave would normally just, he, he doesn't want to take his benefit. He's still working. He wants to let it grow that guaranteed 8% a year, but under restricted, there's a loophole. He can let it grow, but he can also take a spousal benefit. Huh? So he can take half of Amy's. Amy takes hers. He gets half of Amy's. It lets his grow, and he can turn on much later, as late as 70, at a much bigger benefit. That 500 bucks, ladies and gentlemen, is free money. I mean, less than 1% of the people that this would help actually take it <laughs> yeah 500 bucks a month six thousand a year twelve thousand in two years eighteen thousand in three years it's a big big deal hardly anybody takes it because hardly anybody is educated and that's what that's what those workshops do they educate people what can and can't the social security administration do they can't give you advice wild they give your big, biggest benefit right now. This comes right from their manual, number D. Provide enough information so that claimants, people going in, asking questions, can make informed choices, but do not give advice. But that's something new you never heard. Yeah, Social Security is not a standalone income stream. There's other income streams that needs to go in and complement. It's the most flexible of all income streams. Claiming at your right time, not the right time. And you know, don't forget, we start talking about break-evens, but the survivor benefit. Those, this is this pillars of income, and I do find fact-finding off of this. Number three is where we make our money. But you want to find out what the working wages are. You want to find out what the pensions are. Income-producing assets like IRAs, 401ks, uh, real estate, rental property, cash value, life insurance, four RMDs on traditional IRAs, and then Social Security. I go through every single one of those, and then Social Security. It's much, it's very flexible. You can decide when you want to start it. You know, when you claim your benefit, there's just all, there's so much stuff you need to, to ask your client about health history and income sources and, and just, you know, wealth. I mean, there's just so many benefits. There's just a lot to consider. Remember I said there's three ways? Seminar marketing. $2,500, you know, guarantee you 35 registrants. Our goal is 10 appointments or more when we have those. We teach you up on Social Security at no charge. Paid for by the FMO, me. Retirement Boss Radio. Be your own radio host. It's a recorded show. All in, it's probably going to cost you three to $4,000 a month. But I tell you what, just go on your weekend. Find out who, you, who your financial shows that are on. There will be. I bet they're doing very well financially. Or you could just do four coaching sessions for 800 or four sessions for $800. Just a la carte. I don't want to market. I don't want to get in front of people, but I do want to learn the education of Social Security. I'll, I'll, I'll coach you on four sessions for $800. There's an old saying. It says, procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. <laughs> Tomorrow never comes. And the reason I bring this up, if you've heard something today that you say, boy, I'd like to know more about Social Security. I'd like to get educated up. I'd like to get more, in front of more leads. 
I mean, there are, there are not many, but there, there, are, there are advisors out there that just, they don't want to grow their practice. I mean, they, they got enough. They're working their book of business. Yeah. You know, then the marketing wouldn't be important to you. But, but I've been in the business for 40 years, and my goal is to put on as many new clients every year as I can. And I do it through those. Those are the main two marketing. We also have a Medicare arm that that uh, Sam runs, and uh, we do a lot of marketing there to get him lead generation. He's in the middle of AEP right now and and killing him. I mean, he did uh, yesterday and two the day before. I think he did three apps the day before. He's just really doing well, and a lot of that is through the marketing we do. So don't procrastinate, Scott. If you can go in, put up the put up the um, the Poll or the polling question: Would you like to go in and have an appointment? You know, me. You know, we'll give you a call if you mark yes. We're going to give you a call today, and we're going to get a good time for you and a good time for me on on my schedule. And we will and we will reconnoiter. We'll get together for fifteen, twenty, twenty five minutes, and you can ask me any questions you want. But 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 I want to. I'll be talking about. You know, do you think that social security claiming could help your business? Uh, some type of a marketing program, maybe to promote that, could it help your business? So I'm a pretty down to earth guy. This is me to play. I mean, if you don't pay, you don't learn. But you know what? You want that return on your investment dollar to be high, and that's our goal is to make that high. Uh, Scott, I'll turn it on over to you. See if there's any questions, and then we'll kind of button this up for the for a Friday Friday morning or afternoon, wherever you're uh, listening from. Hey, appreciate it, Dave. Great information yep. as always. Um, poll is up and live, so I highly encourage uh, everybody, just click yes or no. Let us know if you're interested in this. We'll, Dave's group and I'm's both will uh, we'll follow up with you, make sure we help you get that appointment scheduled. Uh, Dave, if you had to do one or the other, seminars or radio, which one are you choosing? Both. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, no, I would probably start with seminars. That's how I started my business. They're a little less expensive. I don't think the leads are quite as good. It's a little easier to do because radio can be a little intimidating, even though it's recorded. You can do it over again. But they're both very, very well. I think the entry level of seminars is easier than what radio is. Radio, that's why there aren't as many people doing radio. Plus, the perception of a radio show is that it was be extremely costly. and It doesn't have to be the case. Absolutely. Um, question about the uh, the guarantee that's out there, the buying unit guarantee. That is split over multiple nights. That guarantees for a one one night session. How's that guarantee work, Dave? As far as the yeah, buying, yeah, units? yeah. It's two nights. It's two nights. But could you do it in one night? Yeah, you're gonna lose about fifteen percent of the registrants if you have one night because oh. Like my mom, she's still living. She loves uh, Dancing with the Stars. Maybe it's the Dancing with the Stars night, so they're not going to go and, 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 and miss that. You know, So normally we have two nights. That, that's normally what we do. And we, we would highly recommend and agree with Dave on that. Two nights, given the, given the public options, is going to better serve you and get you the most, uh, most buying units at your, at your presentation. Uh, Mr. Pimper, any questions you see that you want to tackle before we wrap her up, boss? No, I'll tell you what, Social Security is a complicated subject. You can learn it yourself. I did. I learned it myself. I went to symposiums. I actually flew down to Orlando for a day on a symposium. I paid for it. I mean, uh, but but you're pretty fortunate to have somebody. I mean, I mean I'm not pounding my chest. I, I know this end of the business. My, my expertise is there's tons of stuff I don't know. I mean, just ask my kids. <laughs> there's tons of stuff I don't know. But I do know Social Security. I do know this business, and I do know marketing. And, and, and Scott, you said that in the beginning. I'm a, I'm a, I, not to say I'm a big marketer. I'm, I'm consistent at what I do, and it's just like a diet. I mean, if you lose, I mean, you, you want to lose consistently X amount, and by the you wake up one day six months later and you've lost 15 pounds, you don't want to lose five pounds and gain back 10 pounds. So I'd love to talk to you. Uh, you know, may, maybe keep doing what you're doing, or maybe um, add a, a few things, you know, into your kind of bag of tricks. But I'll tell you what, Social Security, it's it's almost it's overlooked by almost everyone in our industry. And 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 since the last 11 years out of my 40 that I've known Social Security, I can tell you right now there has not been one component of my business that has made me any more money, even close. 
than what Social Security has brought in. So I'd love to coach you, love to teach you, love to talk with you. Please mark yes, and we'll certainly get together here the next week or two and talk and, and see what, what, you know, what happens from there. Hey, Dave, thank you so much. I know it's real busy out there. Uh, you've been writing a lot of business here recently, so we appreciate you taking – taking the time for us um everybody that was on the call today we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule for us have a great day everyone go out and have a great sales day thank you thanks everybody bye-bye